So let me show you how we can take a, a JMeter script that already has a CSV file associated with it and then run that within the BlazeMeter platform dynamically generating the data. So here's my, my JMeter script. I've got a CSV data set configured for this particular test. Um, we've got the file names, the CSV file name, and then we've also got the variable names. So these variable names are basically the, the headings for our CSV file. And we've then taken those verbal names and we've parameterized our test. So if I go to this particular page, what you see is we've used those variables to parameterize the test. Now at this point, we can then take this test and load it into BlazeMeter. So if I go to BlazeMeter and we click on the upload script, we select the test. Now what we're going to do is we will validate the script which we're doing here, you see validation. And we've identified that inside that JMeter file, we've got this CSV data set, and we've picked up the name of the CSV file. And at this point, we could just load the CSV file. So we could take the CSV file with that static data, load it into BlazeMeter and run the test. Or we can do things like associate synthetic data generation rules so we can generate that data dynamically. So if I click on this load data entity, um, these are data entities that have already been created and we can share these across tests. So I can click on my registration data entity. And each of these parameters has a rule that we can then use to generate data. So we've got rules like I want a city. If I click on the preview, we'll get a random city, uh, a date of birth. You can see we've got names, email addresses. So we've got all the data that we need to build out our model. We need to make sure that the, the name of the actual parameter matches the name of the variable inside the JMeter script. And we can just edit this. So if this were to be an uppercase, we could just modify the name of the parameter to ensure that it matches our script. We can then click on the data settings to say, you know, how much data do we need? So you can see at this point, we've got a single record. It may be we actually want 100 records. So this will generate me a preview of what that data will look like. Uh, this isn't the actual data we'll use for the test. This is just showing you what the data will look like so you can confirm that you know, your dates of births and your cities and everything looks like the data that you need for your test. I can click Save. And at this point, we're ready to run the test. Obviously, we're to go for the normal process with BlazeMeter of assigning our, our users and our duration and all the other settings we need for performance tests. But as far as data is concerned, that data will now be available. And every time we run this test at runtime, we will generate our data synthetically using these rules, create a CSV file, and then that will be run with the test. So when I click run test, the first thing we do is we generate the data in the CSV file, associate it, and at that point, we'll then go through the normal process of booting our test and running our performance test.